Hello students, welcome to AIMS India Online Classes. This is a chemistry session. Here we are discussing about the chapter weather and climate. In this session, we are going to practice based upon the chapter weather and climate. We are going to see a practice sheet related to this chapter. So, in this, we are going to see completely all single correct answer type questions. So, there will be four options out of four, one will be correct answer as we know. So, read the question and answer carefully and answer them. See the first one. The department which prepares weather report. Yes, there is a separate department for this to give reports related to weather and climate of a particular place. What is the department called? It is called Meteorological Department. These people who are working in that meteorological department, they will observe the conditions or components of weather, how the temperature is, whether it is going to rain in the few upcoming days, and how the wind is going to be blow, and what is the temperature going to be in the particular area. These all conditions will be observed by the scientists working in meteorological department. Okay, this gives us weather forecast. What did we say meaning of weather forecast? The reports which gives information about the weather in the future coming days is weather forecast. So this will be given by meteorological department in our India. Okay, meteorological department. They do observe about the weather and they give reports about weather. Next one. The amount of humidity in the atmosphere is a measure of dash in the air. What is this humidity? What is uh, uh, this humidity is a measure? What kind of measure it is? It is the measure of water vapor present in the atmospheric air. So this water vapor is also called as moisture we know. When water from the water bodies like uh, Oh, lakes, rivers, oceans, it evaporates due to because of sunlight. What happens then? It converts into gaseous form. That gaseous form water is called as water vapor. And this mix with the atmospheric air. That water vapor mixed into the atmospheric air we call as moisture. So the uh, extent, the measure of this water vapor present in the atmosphere the measure of this moisture present in the atmospheric air, we call it as humidity. Generally, this humidity will be more in hot condition. When the temperature is high, more amount of water vapor, water from water bodies evaporates and causes more amount of water vapor in the atmosphere. So, we feel some humid. Okay, the measure of moisture is humidity. Okay, next one. The instrument used to measure rainfall is, yes, we have seen the measurement of different components of uh, uh, weather, like temperature, rainfall, wind speed and wind direction, humidity. These all are called as the elements of weather or components of weather. And we have seen how to measure these uh, elements of uh, weather also. Suppose if it is a uh, temperature, Temperature can be measured by using an instrument called thermometer. Temperature of a body can be measured by using normal thermometer. If you want to measure the temperature in a particular place, then we use some specially designed thermometer, which is called as maximum minimum thermometer, isn't it? So in the same way, for measuring rainfall also, we have a special uh, instrument, which is called as rain gauge we have seen how it is will how this rain gauge will be it will be a measuring cylinder which is connected to a funnel like this and uh, on this measuring in readings will be there where if this measuring or this rain gauge if it is kept in the rain when it is raining this collects the uh, rain water through this funnel and will be collected into this uh, measuring jar so by using the readings given on this measuring jar, we estimate the rainfall. 
in terms of millimeters or centimeters so this instrument is called rain gauge the instrument used for measuring the rainfall is called rain gauge next the temperature humidity rainfall and wind speed etc these are all called what are they called these are called components of weather are also called as elements of weather okay this temperature humidity rainfall wind speed and wind direction these all are called as the elements of weather or also called as components of weather these gives the information about these like temperature weather uh, humidity and these all gives information about the weather in a particular place at a particular time that is why these are called elements of weather next one the maximum and minimum temperature of a day are recorded by using how do they record the temperatures of a particular day in a particular place what is the instrument used for measuring this it is called maximum minimum thermometer we have seen how this instrument is also you know it contains a uh, u shaped glass tube which is containing mercury in it and it is having two bulbs at the top two side tops these bulbs contain alcohol and when it is kept in the uh, in a particular place if the temperature is high the alcohol present in the one side bulb will be expanded so that the mercury column will be moved to the other side then it will be recorded and when this uh, uh, temperature is cool the alcohol present in the bulb in the left side will be contracted again again the mercury column will be raised in the left side then again it's a uh, recorded that gives the minimum temperature of that place in this way maximum and minimum temperatures of a place are recorded by using the instrument called maximum minimum thermometer okay it is mmt it is called in simple form in the expanded form it is maximum minimum thermometer okay next one at what time do you feel comparatively comfortable in a day during summer season yes actually in summer season the temperature will be normally high but at what time we can feel a little comfort comparatively during the complete day yes in the morning hours in the morning hours the atmosphere will be pleasant the weather will be pleasant we feel some cool breeze in the morning hours temperature will be low so we feel somewhat comfortable in the morning hours in the early morning of summer we feel comfort compared to the remaining times in the day as time time increases what happens temperature also increases in the summer season so we feel hotness but in the morning hours in the early morning we feel somewhat cool next one all changes taking place in the atmosphere are caused by so what is the reason for this all changes in the atmosphere what is the main reason for these changes it is sun due to the sun this all changes are being taken place in the atmosphere seasons are occurring and uh, temperature is being changed these different seasons we are getting day and night these all changes the term increase in temperature decrease in temperature these all changes are because of just sun okay the average weather pattern taken over a long time is called yes there may be changes in the temperature and wind speed and uh, uh, raining all if you take the uh, these reports for long time in a particular place the average weather pattern taken for a long time in a place is called climate of that place climate it is called climate the long time weather report is of a particular place around for 20 to 30 years around 25 years if we take the reports this all average of these all reports gives the climate of that place 
नेक्स्ट द प्लेस इज वेर द सन डज नॉट राइज फॉर सिक्स मंथ्स एंड डज नॉट सेट फॉर अनदर सिक्स मंथ्स इज सो वेर इट विल हैपन सो द सन राइज कंप्लीटली फॉर सिक्स मंथ्स इट वोंट बी सेट्स एंड इवन टिल बी फॉर सिक्स मंथ्स सिक्स मंथ्स कंप्लीटली डे टाइम एंड सिक्स मंथ्स इट विल बी नाइट टाइम इन विच रीजन्स इट हैपेंस इन polar regions in polar regions the day time will be almost for 6 months and even the night time also will be almost for 6 months that is why sun does not rise for 6 months completely to be night time and the sun does not set for another 6 months completely 6 uh, months day time will be there so this occurs this happens in the polar regions that is why there the temperature will be almost very cold very cool temperatures will be recorded in those areas in the polar regions okay next one the temperature in polar regions in winter will be s yes, the continuation is given here what is the temperature in the polar regions in the winter season actually in the polar regions at all times the temperature will be very low but especially in the winter seasons the temperature will be very low it will be around minus 40 degree celsius temperature it will be around Minus thirty-five to minus thirty-seven, or around to take, it will be nearly minus forty degrees Celsius temperature. It will be very cool. So it is a horrible temperature. We cannot live in the temperature. Only few types of animals uh, which are adapted for this uh, kind of climate they can only survive in that area. So the temperature in the winter and polar regions will be around minus forty degrees Celsius temperature. Next one. Find the animal living in polar regions from the following. So, as we told, as the temperature will be very low in the polar regions, all the human uh, living things cannot be survived in that area because the uh, climate is horrible. It is so harsh. We cannot live there. If you go, uh, immediately what happens there will be freezed because of that very low temperatures. So only few kinds of animals. and few kinds of plants which are adapted which are having some changes which are adapted to these climatic conditions only can survive in that area uh, some animals like uh, uh, penguins polar bear only these kind of animals they can survive in that area so what you are asking one of them they have given in the options that is polar bear so it can survive in that area because it has some adaptations uh, to survive this climatic condition like uh, thick layers of fur and a layer of uh, fat under the skin so this will survive these animals from this cold conditions okay next one how does uh, on the same the question is given here how does the polar bear keep itself warm in cold weather how will it survive in this polar regions even though the temperature is very low as we told they have some special adaptations to survive in this climatic condition what are they it will be having very thick fur on this nearly two layers of thick fur will be there and even under the layer of under the layers of skin they have a thick layer of fat also this fur and thick layer of fat this will give sufficient warmthness to this animals so which is given here see it has two thick layers of fur that is correct it has a coat of wool no it covers its body by with a woolen coat no it sits by the side of fur no so what is correct answer here it has two thick layers of fur and along with that one more also will be there that is a thick layer of fat under the layers of skin so these two this fur and the fat will protect these animals from that cool conditions okay next one season which is long in polar climatic regions yes which is season for long time in the polar regions which season it is winter season that is why only there the temperatures will be maintained around For minus forty degrees Celsius, so that the water almost will be available in that area 
in the solid form only completely in the ice form it will be there because uh, most of the time in that uh, most of the time in, in a year in polar regions will be winter very cool temperature maintain the temperature okay this is a winter season next as compared to cold air warm air is so what is the comparison between these cold air and warm air we know cold air is heavier than warm air so warm air is somewhat lighter than cold air so to it moves up so when uh, sun shines brighter the air in that particular area will get warmness it becomes hot so hot air will be lighter in air, lighter in weight so it moves up okay lighter warm air is lighter than cold air next considering seasons land is hotter than sea actually according to the seasons we observe that land gets hotter and gets cool faster than the water so in uh, summer seasons land will be much hotter than sea because it becomes hot immediately whereas the uh, sea water will be warm get hot very slowly so in summer season land will be hotter than sea water in summer when winds from all directions rush into uh, fill the low pressure area it is called so sometimes what happens as i told uh, if uh, sun shines brighter in a particular area there the air gets hotter it becomes hot so as we know hot air is lighter and it moves up in that particular area what happens now no air it becomes low pressure it will be created in that area now the air from all the different directions it will rush into that place where the low pressure is created that is called cyclone because air moves from high pressure areas to low pressure area always so when low pressure is created in a particular area then air from all directions it will rush into that plot in that place where the low pressure is created that is called cyclone next one the earth is surrounded by an envelope of air which is commonly called yes earth is uh, surrounded by a thick layer of air in all the directions so that the uh, envelope of air which is surrounding this earth is called atmosphere it is having uh, different layers again so it is totally called atmosphere this layer of air is called atmosphere next one the northerly wind blows from northern wind blows from northern side of india that is from himalaya side so in that time in that season we get winter when these uh, northern winds are blowing from the northern side northern mountains that is himalayas that blows from north to south in that time we get a winter season because those air will be very cool next the condition of atmosphere at a particular time and at a particular place is called yes the condition of atmosphere at a particular time and at a, in a particular place is called weather this weather will be changing from time to time but if you take the same readings for a long time with all the average of these conditions in a particular place for a long time are called climate but at a particular time if it is taken at that time those conditions are said to be weather of that place is called weather increase in altitude results what does it result as we move up we know the temperature decreases at the same time the air presence also decreases so as we move up and up there will be less amount of air and so pressure decreases so as we go to higher altitudes pressure and temperature both decreases because air content will be less if you move to higher altitudes that is the reason why mountaineers who are climbing the high mountains they carry some cylinders containing oxygen because as they move up there will be less oxygen so they cannot survive with that 
so that to breathe freely they carry oxygen cylinders with them because as we move to higher altitudes the content of air decreases that means pressure decreases as we move up okay pressure decreases even temperature also decreases the average weather conditions of a place over a long period of time is called yes what did you say about this they are called climate of that place if these are taken for long time the weather conditions are taken for a long time around 25 years the average is of, of these all conditions is called climate of that place next rainfall is measured by an instrument called what is the instrument used for measuring rainfall we discussed it already that is rain gauge rain gauge is used for measuring rainfall this measuring of rainfall will be done in centimeters or millimeters next one if you see here expand mmt what does it mean mmt so it is a short form of uh, the thermometer name which is used to measure the maximum and minimum temperatures of a place so mmt means maximum minimum thermometer this instrument is used to measure the highest and lowest temperatures of a place maximum minimum thermometer is a full form of mmt okay next one which one of the following liquids is uh, used in the mmt yes in this maximum minimum thermometer two liquids are used of course in one bulb so actually it is a u shaped tube like this it is a u shaped tube which is containing a bulb on each top like this this will be vacuum here now this is a bulb is filled with alcohol and here also some alcohol will be there and at the bottom mercury is filled so here alcohol and here mercury in that way two liquids are present in this thermometer which is called maximum minimum thermometer they are alcohol and mercury two liquids okay both mercury and alcohol next one maximum temperature occurs during a day in at what time there will be maximum temperature during a day you know in the noon time in the afternoon time sun gives much shine because of that the temperature will be much higher in the afternoon time during a day in the morning and evening temperature will be somewhat low when compared to afternoon time okay in the afternoon we get much time much temperature okay thank you for watching our video please subscribe our youtube channel aims today for latest updates on recorded videos